I just want to play as many senior games as possible. We've just got to work hard now in the pre-season and sort of perform in the practice matches and see how we go from there. He was a player that was really thankful for his opportunity to be given a chance to play at the club he barrack for. And he just grasped that from the day he got here. From what I knew of him, as soon as he walked through the door, and now what I know of his resume, it doesn't surprise me one bit. From the first day that he walked into the joint, you could tell what type of bloke he was, what type of kid he was, just a zest for life and, and a willingness to learn. Here's Johnson, number six is through, room service, carries it like the waiter and kicks the goal. The champ from the western suburbs rides it home, he's got seven. Loyalty from Jono's perspective, his dedication to the footy club and to be a one club player was the one thing that he wanted to, to achieve. People talk about cultures of football club and they question unsuccessful teams about their culture and lack of culture. I totally disagree. I think we had an unbelievable culture here at the Western Bulldogs. You know, we created an environment uh, that players wanted to stay. Johnson! He's probably the greatest teammate you could ever play with. When somebody needed to stand up and be counted, John A would stand up and be counted. The Adelaide game, I think it was his milestone. And we were down, we were down by three or four goals coming into the last quarter and off his own boot he won the game. Five second half goals. And it's such a champion this bloke is. And it wasn't for him, it wasn't for his milestone game, it was for the club. Johnson's dangerous from here. Oh, what a goal for Johnson! Oh, that's a match winner on the skipper! The fans that barrack for the, our club saw that and that's why they never fell out of favour with him because every single time he, he crossed that white line, he will give 120%. Goal of the season! Goal of the season! Book it in now! It was romantic. You know, the kid that grew up in the western suburbs, wanted to play for the Bulldogs all his life, got drafted to the Bulldogs when he was 17. You don't get those fairy tales a lot in the modern game because of the draft, and the, the fans just loved it. Rightly so, because... He just gave everything to the club. You talk about the greats of our era. If you ask them about Brad Johnson, they would say fierce competitor, but an awesome bloke. And that's where the respect comes from. Through his career, he was able to play state footy. He was able to represent his country in the Island Series. He plays hard, he plays tough, he's highly skilled, and nothing ever seemed to phase him. Word of mouth gets around from players that he would have had representative with, and they go, he's a good bloke. Being inducted into the AFL Hall of Fame is an amazing achievement to be recognised by your peers and people that have been involved in the game for such a long period, you know, it's fantastic that, uh, that John is getting inducted. It is a lot of work, it's a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of commitment. He epitomises what a Hall of Famer is, the way he played the game with his fairness, with his courage, through good times, through bad times, through loyalty to the one club and just the great mate that he's been for so long to so many. He won't meet anyone more universally respected than this man, Brad Johnson. He was just an amazing teammate, an amazing friend. <laughs>